Pam and Luigi, number one. Sorry, just testing the mic. Hello, friends. It's me, Doom, and today we're live again, and we are here for part two of How to Make Money in Fishing Planet, part two. Hello, Cube. Again, hello. Um, and we are headed to, hang on, got the Michigan license, which means, hang on, how do we, yeah, let's just go ahead and travel to St. Croix, Michigan, which is where we're headed to catch some pike to make the most money per pound and top frequency. That seems right. Muskie are another excellent way to get, to get money here. And if you're not worried about the size of your keep net, then... Uh, fish. The, 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 the cat variety. Blues, yeah, that's one. Blue catfish. Come on, load. There we go. Ah, I'm public. Always forget. Friends only. There we are. Go fishing. So we're going to be going to a King of the Green Bay, which is this spawn point right here. We're going to go to go fishing. There we are. And we're going to turn left. Should we do about 180 degrees there and move along the riverbank until we get to a specific point. It's going to be a bit of a walk, so... Hello, hang on, Bis, Bisity, Bisty, Bis, Bis, Bisity, I think that's right. Well, hello, it's good to see you. Bit of a walk here, give it just a moment. There we are. We're heading right here to these two lily pad areas, lily pad patches. I'm going to stop at this rock right here. And allow me to switch to my Ardix 11-2. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like we've got the right setup there. And we are going to about 17 inches. It's really about 15, but I like 17. Just seems to work a little bit better. Now, there is another way to do this, and that is go all the way over there, rent a kayak, come all the way back over about right here, and cast into these bushes over here. However, I do not have a kayak, nor do I want to spend the money on a kayak, so I'm showing you guys a way to do this without a kayak. We're going to be casting right around here about 70 feet? 70 feet? That seems right. Um, and right about, yeah. Uh, 74 feet. That works. Go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, I just realized I have a number six odd hook on here. That might be a bit too big, but well, let's see what happens. Also, I haven't checked the actual peak hours for the day. I might be incredibly off peak. In fact, I feel like I'm pretty sure I am. Let me reel back in for just a sec. Jump over the lily pads. Also gonna switch to a more visible boober for the stream. And let's see, what do those peak hours look like? Oh yeah, okay, so let's skip up to about 7 a.m. That seems reasonable, I think. Seven AM. Alright, gonna go ahead and cast back into the, around the same spot. And now we wait. So how is everybody doing today? Now, if you're not watching this live, feel free to comment how you're doing today down in the comments below.
All right, good. Just making sure I had everything all set up so you guys could actually hear me. So, the one thing I don't like about fishing in this video game, I don't mind doing float fishing in real life. However, in a video game, it just seems slightly nonsensical to sit and wait. But we got a ding, so let's see what happens here. Three, two, one, and boom. Look at that. It's like I've got psychic powers. Now, although the, uh, what is it? The Arctic 11.6 or 11.5, I forget which one it was, is a powerful rod. Unfortunately, at the moment, I do not have a... Uh, a reel and line to match its its uh its power so we're just gonna go ahead and just do the do with this hello inferno plays oh wait interno interno plays sorry a bit far away from my monitor at the moment Nintendo. yes that one sorry my bad Yeah, I got it right the first time, turn out. Anyway, hello. How's things? Do you run a gaming channel by any chance? Hope I'm coming through all right. This is a new location that I'm streaming from. Um, kind of a studio in the process of becoming a studio. One of those situations. There's going to be, I think tomorrow, a uh, an actual... An actual update to see what's going on here. I am going to be fishing for some new species. However, today is all about earning money the good old-fashioned way. Um, however, I have had a couple of requests from viewers, obviously to do the new lakes, and also come back and revisit this lake and others and do a... Uh... There we are. And do a how to catch every unique in blah blah lake. So there's going to be a bit of that coming up here too. My setup right now, since I'm out, I can show you. We have the Arctic 11.2. Uh, my, uh, oh, give me just a moment here. My uh, chat window is in the way. Rarp. There we go. The Arctic 11.2, which has a maximum capacity or line weight of, excuse me, 30 pounds. Oh, excuse me. Hello, New Zealand. And also, hello, BB. Um, let's see. We have 26 pounds and 25 pound line. So we're not quite maximized, but we are pretty close. As close as it's going to get with the 20. Was that a, uh, a 26.4 pound line? Or real. But we're going to get some good casts out of it, and that's pretty important, I feel. And move this guy back. Of course, I have my line set to 17 inches, or 15, it's supposed to be 15 inches, but I always have, um, I always have, uh, yeah, better luck at 17. Um, I do plan on going to Europe. However, at the moment, I do not have the money to go to Europe. Um, although some of them are rather low level lakes, I'm kind of surprised they didn't just make higher level lakes, seeing as they increase the level cap. But I am going to be doing Europe here in a video, 
or not all of them all at once, but I'm going to be, you know, doing what I do and uh, finding the best ways to catch specific species. So right now what we're looking at is how to catch unique pike without in this in uh in particular without a uh without a kayak this is uh, my personal favorite spot to do it i've caught up to not on average but up to five uniques a day an in-game day you got this mouse down here there we go This isn't quite the weather that I would normally do it under, however. Hello, Krista. It's good to see you again. I actually just got back from a fishing trip with my roommate, and uh, we caught one fish, and only one fish, and she caught it. Um, however, it was a rather large catfish. It was a channel cat, the delicious eaten kind, not too terribly big, but above average. I think it was about 15 inches, somewhere around there. We didn't quite have measuring tape on us, but it was as long as it was as long as my forearm, all the way to my fingers. So well above a foot and boom I'm here you mere fishy so he's got some good pull it's even lining me out a little bit all right we might have a large trophy or small unique going on here that'd be a good change be my first unique of the day that's definitely at least a trophy for sure. Come on in now. Oh, nope, just a large trophy. Still not bad, though. Good amount of cash for that dude, for sure. And that's what today's stream is all about. I'm going to keep uh, telling you about this as we go, as this is a live tutorial, and there are new people entering every so often. Uh, we're here to catch as much fish as possible to earn as much money as possible to show you guys in a live tutorial fashion what it is exactly it, well, what what all it takes to make money in this game. Unfortunately, I don't have premium at the moment, so my earnings are going to be, be a bit stunted, but that's what this channel is all about, is how to maximize your gameplay experience on a free-to-play game without spending money. So... Yeah. However, a suggestion, if you do ever spend money and you don't feel like buying premium, spend a little money on upgrading your keep net. I've found that a small keep net can hold you back from earning profit more than anything else in this game. Yes, I hear your dings. Go on now. Take it. Take it. Oh, you tease. Stop it. Just either take it. I don't care. Swim away. Stop dinging. There we go. Nope. 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 I lied. Okay. Bass fishing. Bass fishing, I would have to say, um, there's some good spots in uh, uh, the Naharan River in, uh, I think that's West Virginia, or South Carolina, or North Carolina. I don't remember. I think it's North Carolina. Whichever one is over there. However, 
Uh, the best place to go bass fishing, if you can stand the annoying bird, is going to actually be um, in Louisiana. No, not Louisiana. Hold on. Florida. There we go. You can not only go after largemouth and smallmouth bass there, and there are uniques of both varieties. However, you can also go after the butterfly peacock bass, which is both more experienced than a largemouth bass and more money than a cat... Uh, than a smallmouth bass, not a catfish bass. However, the butterfly peacock bass is not a butterfly, nor is it a peacock, nor is it actually a bass. It's a cichlid. It's a really big cichlid. It does put up quite a fight, though, just like a uh, largemouth bass. Would you just take it already? Even the dragonfly is annoyed with you. Just take the freaking bait. Sorry, I'm slamming down some coffee here. I made for I made uh, some coffee for my fishing trip today, and well, uh, only one person showed up, so I just have a giant uh, Ozark Trail thermos full of full of coffee. No sense in letting it go to waste. I'm about to reel this in. Can PC and PS4 play together? Unfortunately, they cannot. Um, although, from what I understand, that is something that's in the works. And if you happen to be a PlayStation 4 player, you should be getting the, uh, the European maps, I believe, tomorrow. Or maybe today. I've been off of work for a couple days and I'm a little bit off on my calendar. But uh, I think it was supposed to be the 5th, whichever it is. Awesome. Good. Yes. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to bring you back in, cast you out a bit further because I kind of screwed up. Bait was eaten or lost. Oh, okay. Discard. <laughs> nice. Oh, we got two awards. Awesome. All right, so about 70... Yeah, there we are. That should be about 76. Nope, 70 on the dot. That'll work. So how are you guys doing? Okay, hold on. We are at the 20 minute mark. I promise only to do this once every 20 minutes and I apologize ahead of time because I don't like doing this. However, I do feel the need that since I am uh, putting time and effort into it and it actually cost me a bit of money to do this. If you guys like these videos, I really enjoy making them. I really enjoy helping people out and I think it's, it's important to, you know, sh Fishing Planet is a community, and being able to share is, well, a thing that needs to happen in order to build a good community. The thing is, is editing software and recording software of quality are not free. And if you'd ever like to help the channel out and maybe make a small donation, every dollar helps, then feel free to hit that little super chat button and uh, maybe donate a dollar or two. 
All right, I'm done. I won't do it again for another 20 minutes. I'm doing great. Basically, Venom, you commented on a video of mine. I don't remember which one it was, but good to see you again. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I'm a big fan of getting out of school or work. It's been a while since I've gotten out of school, mind you. Oh, ah, come here, you. About time. It's getting kind of boring. I'm not giving me good content here, fish. This will be pretty decent, too. This one, probably a small trophy. Say about 13, 14 pounds? 21 pounds? Okay, sure, 21 pounds. I'll, I'll take it. Oh yeah, man. I, when it comes to this channel, I absolutely do. A lot of things in life, not so much because I get distracted easily. That's literally the story of my life. Uh, but I mean, like I said, this channel means, means, well, I mean, making videos for people means a lot to me. So yeah, I do my best to remember people who, who help me out by leaving a comment or hitting subscribe or like. Ten pound test. You know what? We're doing it. Hello, Cedric. You're just in time. I've accepted a challenge. All right. Yeah, let me get my mouse going. Arr. Okay, challenge time. We're going to disassemble this rod, and I'm going to do you one better. We are going in with 8-pound line. Hundred and eighty-seven. That's not a lot of room to work with, but we're going to see if it works or not. So I heard, the early release anyway. All right, eight pound test line as challenged by JD Supreme. Oh shit, yeah, this only has like 18% durability left, so. This might be a one-shot kind of deal. Yeah, 19%. Shit. Shit! Alright. Here we go. Challenge time. Eight-pound line. Bringing in a 20-pound uh, a fish. And let me chug the rest of my coffee here for extra added manliness. Ah, manly plus ultra. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, it's coming in! Holy shit, it's coming in. I gotta use all my skills and technique to make this work, though. Because it's just coming in because it's up against the shore. That's the only reason. <laughs> Probably. 
All right, if this isn't a trophy, it doesn't count. Challenge complete! Yeah, I don't doubt it. Holy crap. Anyone else got any good ideas? I'm going to try one more just because I took out the line out. Because that one was just up against the shore. That didn't count. I got lucky on that one. If it ran out to the left, I'd be screwed. Oh, thank you. Also, hello, your beard is weird. I don't think we've... I haven't seen you in my uh, in my chats before, so welcome. Welcome, friend. Oh. Alright, what time is it? 8.22? Yeah, we still got plenty of time on peak left. If I get a unique, guys, this line is toast. Straight up toast. Yeah, honestly. Okay, and we're back. That was weird. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, those alligator gar are freaking beasts, bro. Um, like, obviously, I don't have a big enough bag for a decent sized one. Nope, got a ding. Hold on. I remember watching an episode of Swamp People and like they pull one into the boat and shoot it in the head just to uh to stop the uh the insanity. Okay, okay, it's going out. It's going out. Time to bring in the technique. I got it down to 40. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't lose tension. Okay, this one's small. It doesn't count. One more. One more. Come on, unique. Unique on an 8-pound line. Yeah... I really need to, I, I need to spend money and get that. But the thing is, is like, I'm so tempted just to get, crank out another video, like spend money going places and grinding out fish until I have an exact equation on what works best that, yeah. There's actually 20 kilogram trophies out here. Wait, wait, kilogram. Sorry, there are 20 pound trophies, but yes, there are 20 kilogram unis. Sorry, my brain did not, did not metric for a moment. Yeah, it's just, the thing is, is walleyes just aren't good XP. Like, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely worth the money. Um, 
Like, that's the thing with this game, is you have to sacrifice XP for money, or money for XP. There's no fish that's a good balance of the two. And Shabushki. There it is, a little late. Oh shit, I'm reeling out. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, get over here. The best, best XP fish obviously varies lake by lake, and I don't really go after XP fish too terribly much. However, um, anything gar, catfish... Yeah, if you end up catching a beluga, hey, you'd probably get a, an award or something. But, uh... Wait. Is there actually beluga in the... In the expansion, if so, I'll, uh, my bad. <laughs> um, but, anyway, catfish, gar, um, smallmouth bass, uh, shad, oh, really? But at the same time, you'll still get XP from it, won't you? If you don't keep it? Or does he just have to? I don't remember. I, I took like a, a two-month break from this game. And this is me coming back after after a couple months. I actually had to watch my videos. Yeah, I'm thinking catfish. It Like pound for pound? They're butt-ton of experience, but like experience per pound, not so much. So if you have a decent keep net... It might be a good idea. Right, yes, that's the one. Got the ding! Bring forth the fish! There we go. Alright guys, I think I'm starting to get a little bit disappointed here. This is an 8 pound test line. Uh, it's not a trophy though. It's not even a trophy. Is it? No. No. It's two pounds away from a trophy. So, this isn't the only game I do, of course, but this is the most popular game that I do, besides, I think the second runner-up is, or the first runner-up is, uh, I think it was Ark Survival Evolved uh, mod reviews, but I've stopped doing that because I just, I can't Ark anymore. After, like, 600 hours of playing the game, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. If you have a big enough keep net, it's worth it. Oh. My, that's loud. Uh, ignore that buzzing in the back. Well, I'm actually going to turn down my gain. No, that's turning it up. There we are. And hopefully you guys can't hear it now. It'll be off here in a minute.
I had a coffee. No, sad day. Ugh. Anyway, there was a point I was getting... Oops. Anyway, the point I was getting to was, if there's a game that you guys want to see, want to know how to best to, uh... Oh, oh, okay, this one's a runner. Yes, sir, it is. It's coming in now. Ah, oh, what a jerk. Getting my hopes up. Anyway, if there's a game that you guys want to see or learn how to play most effectively, even without a, uh, a free to, or pay-to-play subscription... Oh, that's... That's trout. Well, okay then. Anyway, if you guys have any ideas for more content for this channel, uh, just you know, leave it in the comments below or in the chat window if you happen to be here. You know, I don't know. I mean, you've seen me on the big ones, on the two big ones. I'm using a specific technique. Um, it's uh, it's not just like a thing that fisher that fishing people do. It's literally based on the uh, on the durability uh, algorithm in this game. Um, it's easy to do with a controller. But I'll show you next time. I'll actually de go, go through it vocally as I'm doing it. But you can maximize the, uh, the life of your line by doing one simple thing. And it's going to seem... It's going to seem obvious when I say it, because it's... When I figured it out, or when someone told me, I was like, Oh, yeah, of course. Why have I not been doing this? Come on, take it. Take it, you big bitch. There it is. Alright, so what I'm doing is going against the pool peeking at a yeah I'm oh uh, I okay I'm lifting there we go that's the word I'm lifting at a uh, 30 degree angle not a 30 degree what is that god damn it I lost it I can't do both things at once all right we're going to have to switch back I'm losing them because of uh Mostly because of the reel, honestly. Oh, I need to put the spirit double punch back on. Wait, have I been using? No, yeah, I was using the right line. Okay, the right reel. Ah, uh, so when ya uh, there we are, and a cut, and a go. Yeah, that's how we go. Okay. You don't have any assembled rods. Don't talk to me about assembled rods. I was I using a five, a six? I think I was using a number six aught. Uh, the boober I use for streams and uh, 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 shiners. There we are. All right, so for those of you just joining us, uh, what we're doing, and this is my setup right quick, let me move my text box so that you can see if you can in fact see my chat window. We're using an Artix 11.2, and that has a maximum line weight of 30 pounds. 
We're also using an Aspira Double Punch 5500, which has a maximum drag of 26 pounds. So those are almost matched, and it's always important to match as high, to, as close to the highest poundage possible. Um, and we're also using zero, uh, 0.018 line, which is about 25 pounds. So 25, 27, almost matched. 27, 30, almost matched. So that maximizes our ability for long casts. However, we do not necessarily need long casts here because without a kayak, this is the place that you go for your stuff. And let me move my freaking chat window wrong button sorry ah ah there we go i have not yet uh been across the atlantic river at all unfortunately i do plan to uh specifically in videos first and then streams so I can learn a thing or two so I don't sound like a, dar a gosh darn fool. Um, and yeah, you know, any more than I usually do with my stuttering and word misusage. But more importantly, it's been 20 minutes. It's actually been 22 minutes. So it's time once again, and I apologize for anyone who hasn't heard me apologize for this before because I don't necessarily like doing this. However, making these videos is a lot of fun. And I really enjoy helping people. But the thing is, is that the software for capturing and the software for editing is not free. At least the good quality stuff. And it costs a bit of money. And if at any time you'd like to help donate to help the channel out a little bit, please feel free. Go ahead and hit that, that, uh, the super chat button, a little dollar sign next to where you're typing in all these lovely messages. And you know, maybe a dollar or two. Nothing big, but everything helps. Okay, there, I'm done. Come on, fish. I did it too close again. I'm not even at 70, 70 feet out. So whenever I go fishing in real life, at least the past three times it seems, the people that I bring with me end up catching all the fish. Well, thank you. It means a lot to hear to uh, to hear that. Um, but yeah, I just got back from uh, going to the pond out behind my mom's house, um, and well, I didn't catch anything, but I brought my roommate along, and she caught a good fifteen. 15 foot, 15 inch catfish. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, okay, bring it back in, cast out a bit further. But first, I'm going to, oh, come on now. Not a problem, that's literally what I'm here for. All right, I will leave you guys with some snazzy, generic Fishing Planet music, and I will be right back.
All right, I'm back, and I'm pretty sure I pretty much just broke my toe, but other than that, I'm doing fine. Let me get my headphones back on. Ooh. There we go. Much better. Yeah. Honestly, every time I'm not fishing, and I've been fishing recently, I miss fishing. Like, even now, even though I'm fishing in a video game, I still wish I was at the pond. Hey, that's great. Large mouth, I take it, or... And so, actually, like, around where I live, it's actually hard to catch largemouth bass. There are plenty of largemouth bass. However, um... But there are more smallmouth bass, and the smallmouth bass can crossbreed with striped bass and spotted bass, so there's hybrids all over the place. And the hybrids, most of the hybrids, behave more like, uh, behave more like largemouth bass. So when I'm in an elbow of the lake, some place with low current and lots of plant coverage, I end up catching them instead. I see largemouth bass jumping and taunting, but I usually only catch one or two out of, I'd say eight, one out of every eight. That's great, good for you, man. take it you know you want to yes all right this one is not lining me out I think we just got another normal here. Or else, yeah, definitely normal. Nope, okay. 13 pound trophy, small trophy. I've almost hit the max of my bag already. And we're in the downward stroke of the, uh, of the peak, I believe. It's gonna go to right there. That seems about right. Yeah, perfect. 80. A bit much. I'm just gonna, just gonna, there we go. Come on, something happened, please. I think I've said this before. In fact, I know I've said this before, but... I cannot stand float fishing in this game. Real life, not a problem. Because I can sit back and relax and maybe, I don't know, do things. But all this waiting in a video game, obviously it's not as much waiting as it is in real life, but still. I 
what? Speaking of bass, looks like we got a trophy smallie here. I'll keep them just the same. Come on, Uni. There we go. Come on. Be a big one. Now he's not lining me out. He's coming straight to me again. He's going a little left. Be about uh, a small trophy. Let's say a small trophy. Or, or uh, average size trophy. Larger than normal, I guess. I was really hoping to catch a uni today. I've been good content, but uh, yeah. Alright, well, I got about five minutes left for this stream because I try to make it about an hour every time I stream. And wait, hold on, let's see. When PC and PS4 can play with each other, you and me should 1v1. Actually, you know, I've been trying to do that with somebody. Just get a good little fishing tournament going on, you know? That'd be kind of fun, I think. That'd be, that'd be a good video or at least a good live stream. That sounds like it would be fun. And there's no, I mean, once, because they're getting Xbox in on this too. When Xbox audience happens, then I'm sure they'll start working on cross-play compatibility. I mean, if they can do it for War Thunder, why not, right? I mean, it's just fishing. It's not like it's flying a plane or driving a tank. I realize that they would literally have to rewrite the game if it was originally not intended for that, but, you know... Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I try to keep these streams about one hour in length, and I appreciate you guys coming coming out. I'm gonna obviously got about four minutes left, so I'm not gonna go right now. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and do one last uh, pity pull here, and that is to say, making these videos for you guys is a lot of fun. And if you really feel like helping the uh, the channel out, because this the software to make these videos isn't free and not necessarily cheap. Um, Feel free to hit that super chat button if you're uh, with me here live or donate in some other form or fashion if you're not. And, well, um, you know, leave a dollar or two. I mean, every dollar helps. And, you know, it's not like YouTube pays me jack. Um, I did get enough for a sweet fart sound effect, though, which I'll... I'll I'm sure I'll use in one of my videos at some point. Um, but anyway. Yeah. And I'm done with that. Yeah, and see, it's, it's one of those situations where if it rains, it pours. 
You know, I'm gonna go turn my gain back up. Hello. It's me. The guy with the fish. Holy crap. Oh, it's a tiny fish, though. Uh oh, tiny fish. Bait was eaten or lost. Okay, I don't even get the fish. Whatever. All right, so I guess, I, I guess that's where I'm going to go ahead and call it. Anyway, you guys have a great day, but I have to tell you that questions still remain. For example, where's the first place we're going overseas in the European fishing expansion? Where, uh, what fish will we be catching in the next video? And what other games are on, on the docket for Von Doom Gaming? You can find out the answers to those and more. On the next episode of Von Doom Gaming!